Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. With any new season, as you begin to explore end game content, you will obviously be under-leveled. Any master level PvE content as well as contest mode in the Raiden eventually Grandmaster. So for me personally, as I prepare for my upcoming Vault of Glass Day 1 run and eventually for Grandmasters, I want a survival build that will help me keep myself and my fire team in the fight. I found a pretty cool build with some of the new and existing Elemental Well mods as well as Charge of Light mods and the Hunter Exotic Ammonoculus. If you're not familiar with the power of that exotic, check out my other endgame build video here to see how powerful that exotic is. Before I get into the video in more detail, I did want to talk about my new Discord server, which I have set up, and I'm interacting with folks in the community. So stop in, go ahead and join in. It's free, and it's an opportunity for us to talk about videos or things coming to the game, or maybe you can talk about things that you would like to see in upcoming videos, and also over time, I'd like to build an LFG community over there. So feel free to join. The flexibility in this build is that it is good in solo and team content. Aminoculus is a great exotic, but it's more suited for team content. With its ability to allow you to smoke bomb your team, make them invisible, get your smoke bomb back, and get damage resistant, it is a must have if you're trying to keep your entire team alive. And that's one of the reasons it's in this build. The problem is in solo content, say if you're trying to solo a master loss sector, or a nightfall, or one of the dungeons, or, or some sort of harder end game content, you won't have teammates to be able to proc that protection. That's where the rest of this build and the elemental wells come in handy. It balances out what you need in solo versus team play, and it's useful in both. I'll start with the mod loadout per item. On my helmet, I rock Reaping Wellmaker and two Dynamo mods. Reaping Wellmaker is a new elemental mod you can get from the Servitor in the Helm. It states that when you activate your class ability, which in this case is your dodge, again on Bottom Tree Night Stalker, your next weapon final spa blow spawns a Void Elemental Well. Dynamo reduces your super cooldown when you use your class ability, again your dodge, near enemies. Since Ammonoculus gives you double smoke bombs, and with Bottom Tree Night Stalker you can get your smoke bomb back by dodging near enemies, you see the theme here, you can see what the synergy is in this build. If you have a decent mobility, you can be constantly dodging, getting your smoke bomb back, using it, and then getting elemental wells. When you pick up these wells, you get a 10% gain to grenade, melee, and class ability energy back, which again feeds into the fantasy of what we're trying to do here. Now the super generation is nice for this build, but my main goal is to keep generating my smoke bomb for later parts of this build. On my arms, I run champion mods I need and then elemental charge. Elemental Charge allows you to gain two stacks of charged light when you pick up Elemental Wells of your subclass type. Again, since we're generating Void Wells, I'm constantly getting Charge of Light, which again I will use later. Of course, I'm using Amoculus as my chest piece. I have an Arc one, so I run Powerful Friends, which allows me to keep my allies Charge of Light and gives me mobility for this build. I usually also run a Resistance mod and Concussive Dampener, but again, it depends on, on you and what you want in that particular piece of content that you're running. On my legs, I run Scavenger for the power weapon that I'm running in that content. I also run Traction and Protective Light. Protective Light allows you to gain significant damage resistance when your shield is destroyed and consumes your stacks of light. That is a lifesaver, and especially in underlight leveled activities where I can get sniped and it saved my bacon more than once. This is basically your get out of jail free card. If this procs, go invisible and hide and come back to the fight when you're healthy. On my class item, I run Perpetuation and Distribution to reduce my ability cooldowns when I use my class ability. Again, my dodge near enemies. And again, with any of these pieces of content you're doing, you're constantly going to be near enemies. So again, not only does it let you get your smoke bomb back, but it gives you these other benefits. I also use the new Well of Tenacity Elemental Well mod. This mod reduces inbound damage for a short time, about 10 seconds when you pick up a Void Elemental Well. This is a safety neat you can use when you get solo. Now this is very similar to what Omnoculus does. But the problem with Omnoculus is that you have to do that by smoke bombing other people. You can do it with yourself too, but it's more useful if you have a, a larger group of people. But with this mod, you can actually do this more easily solo. And as you can see in this uh, video clip, the damage protection is pretty good. It could definitely help you out. It's not going to save you in every situation, but it's definitely going to help you out, especially when you're underleveled. One thing to note is that this mod is particularly buggy. I noticed if I smoke myself immediately, like I just throw it on myself, that I couldn't get the damage protection of proc. What I found is if you throw the, the smoke bomb a little bit away, and I run into it, become invisible, that I would get the damage protection every time. So again, do that, just keep that in mind as you're working through content. And that's the build. 
pretty simple, but build on mods you can, you can get fairly easily. With this build, you can keep yourself alive as an invisible hunter, run around, res your friends, keep yourself out of trouble, and again, have those hero moments that we all love in Destiny. So again, as we get ready for things like Vault of Glass and Grandmasters and other things where you'll be under-leveled, something like this can be a real difference maker. Obviously, you can do things that are more offensive, and I'll probably talk about builds like that in the future, but there are times where being protected is more important and staying alive. So that's the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, uh, feel free to like the uh, video, subscribe to the channel, and get into my Discord community. Again, link in the description. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.